New fears about a massive party coming to St. Pete Beach. Take a look at some video from a Flotopia event last month when the crowds there trashed part of Miami Beach. And a similar event is scheduled for St. Pete tomorrow at noon. ABC Action News reporter Kara Mashik joins us to show the new measures set for both before and after the event to keep the community safe and clean. Well, it's a beautiful and calm evening here on St. Pete Beach, and now preparations are well underway, hoping to control any chaos that might come of this beach bash planned for Sunday. Johnny Scardino and his family love coming to St. Pete Beach, and after hearing of a giant party set to float on shore here Sunday, they rearranged weekend plans to come before the invasion. But he's still worried about the precedent this kind of party might set, especially since he owns rental properties here. This has always been a peaceful beach and not, some, not something known as a party beach. So we've always enjoyed coming out here with our kids. We don't want to see this become a party beach. Local rapper Forgiato Blow is putting on the Blue Wave float party without permits from the city, but he insists he does not want trouble. You can't think you can just do whatever you want to do and it's going to be okay because it's on Blow. It's on you. The police are going to take you to jail. So I want everyone to come out here and do the right thing. The local residents like Holly Crawford are still concerned. Since word of the parties spread on social media, it's estimated more than 20,000 people might show up. Crawford's organized this online petition hoping to stop the event. And if partiers do show up, she hopes they don't disturb nesting turtles and birds. I'm not against anyone having a party. However, I, I just want people to respect um, our environment and our wildlife. And I'm here to be a voice for those with no voice. She says local residents are also planning to line the buoys with their boats, hoping to keep the floaters away. The nearby hotels are bringing in extra security and extra trash cans have been put on the beach in hopes of limiting the litter. Facebook groups already organizing, planning a cleanup effort Monday morning, starting at around 8 a.m. for any trash that might litter these shores. Reporting in St. Pete Beach, Karamashik, ABC Action News.